So my name is Professor Naomi Allen and I'm UK Biobank's chief scientist. So the majority of people who've received a vaccine will get a negative result on the lateral flow test that we're using for our coronavirus antibody study. This is no cause for concern and is entirely to be expected. In fact, two thirds of our participants who've had the vaccine are obtaining a negative antibody result with our lateral flow test. Now, this is because the levels of antibodies that are produced following a vaccination are typically lower than that produced following a natural infection. So a negative result is to be expected, especially if you've only had the first jab and if you haven't previously had COVID-19. The kit only shows a positive antibody result when the levels of antibodies in your blood are quite high, as to be expected when you've, been, when you've naturally been infected, which is of course the main reason for the study. We want to find out if you have previously been exposed to coronavirus to enable research into the long-term health effects, so-called long COVID. It's also worth bearing in mind that no antibody lateral flow test has been approved so far by our regulator, the MHRA, for individual home use for clinical purposes, either for diagnostic or monitoring of antibody levels over time. UK Biobank have received MHRA approval to use these lateral flow tests for research purposes, not for individual clinical use. Having negative antibodies doesn't mean the vaccine hasn't worked. Studies on vaccine efficacy show that the vaccines are protected one to two weeks following the first dose, even though antibodies take much longer to develop. Even after you've had the second dose, certain individuals may never develop high enough levels of antibodies that will be detected by the kit, particularly if you're taking medications that suppress the immune system or if you're elderly. Now, the immune response to the vaccine is really complex. It doesn't only depend on the antibody levels that these kits are measuring. Vaccines also induce a T cell response, which is one of the most important um, components of the immune system that our lateral flow tests don't measure. The T cell response is a critical component of determining your body's immune response to the vaccine. And this is why the vaccine provides protection even when your antibody levels aren't particularly high. So I hope this has gone some way to help reassure you that there's no need to worry if you've had the vaccine and you're producing a negative result on the antibody lateral flow test. This is entirely to be expected. The information that you're providing to us is will provide really important research to enable researchers to look at the long term health effects of coronavirus infection. So I just want to thank you all very much for taking part in this particular study.